nine three two five four five five seven nine. I'm here till eleven o'clock. We're coming coming up to the news at eleven o'clock. Ten o'clock I should say. And uh, when we come back we will talk some more. PCRLFM dot co dot uk police say they're confident they'll catch the birmingham party killers prayers have been said for the two teenage girls shot dead in suspected gang warfare the government's preparing to crack down on gun crime with a major summit this week but shadow home office minister dominic grieve says action must follow words we're loud on rhetoric but in fact we rarely seem to be able to put in constructive policing practices which will in fact reduce the incidence of this type of offence the PCRL FM. Stay indoors, listen to PCRL Radio 103.5 FM. All right, I'm going to take a short commercial break. When we come back, we shall talk some more. I'm here until the hour of 11 o'clock, and let me say a lot of people uh, want to vent their feelings this evening, as I thought they would tonight. And I have to say, some of the views have been positive, others, well, okay, judge for yourselves. What? I saw you from that, right? The culture at the end of the day, where yeah, you and my simply, they are cultured by their environment. See, they are cultured by society. Uh -huh. They are cultured by watching television, movies, playing PlayStation, etc., etc. It's all about violence. It's all about care. It's all about money. See, it's all about so-called bitches. That's the level that they're living at. See, this is a worldwide thing. You have to stop and check, say, yes, it's all about violence and everything low, uh, bestial, sex, food, violence, drink, anything material true, Luke. and low. It's a worldwide epidemic, whether Africa, Europe, America, the East, wherever you go. Yeah, you've got a point. The only people profiting from this epidemic are the global financial institutions and companies, right? They yeah. have subsidiaries who produce goods at street level and feed us, whether it's CD, whether it's clothes, whatever it is. Guns, poor people not the money for shipping consignment of guns to have guns in the community. Very true. When them dismantle Yugoslavia, Bosnia, Albania, rare. The boy them who are escaped from the country bring gun and shoot gun to survive. Those people have to kill. Daily like them wash them skin or they them shit daily them. I saw them kill people. That's Those true. people are now amongst us. There is bound to be a proliferation of hardware, machine. Yeah, yeah. So when people say this is divorce from the powers that be, it's not divorce from the powers that be. I, I think we it understand. is not divorce. It is a direct correlation. You have to check it. Gun is not a thing where black people manufacture. They don't, it's true. Gun price has dropped. Shot price don't drop, gun price drop, you can't get gun any which part. When you sit down and watch a movie, it's funny, what I even have noticed the other day, I said, I noticed the, the movie named Shatters is in circulation. Yep. And it's funny that, you know that movie, is a couple of girls get it, quite a few girls get it in that movie. Right? Girls getting it like that is not something we hear of every day we know it's happened in america that's often. true we don't really hear about it in england but uh, it's funny yeah. as that movie start circulating wider all of a sudden now girl again lick. yeah you, you've got a point there um brother no, Luke, hold yeah. on hold on we know me about point we know me i say you know on. what i'm talking about i observe and i listen and when i listen to that young lady who just phoned she knows what she's talking about she's that age right not the age man it's just a brain okay okay not yeah. the age is because them say you can't teach old dog new tricks but if the dog was smart when he was young he would have been learning from day one right through till him dead you don't go idiot like people who cling on to religion which is a 2000 year cycle or a 1400 year cycle just in that loop and then coward for face reality they just want stories to soothe their mind and go on like them all right right Take and the same mentality point. of religion is what control black people right now where black people freeze and don't have no intelligence and now use them intelligence to sort out them problem because really and truly if anybody have any courage in the black community see no matter what you're a bad man or you're a peaceful man or you're a bad woman or you're a peaceful man see you have something about you you have some integrity 
You don't want to see your people look so lame. If shot I go bust, money off the earn. I mean, I talk about just hundred. I mean, I talk about just thousand. That's it. If shot I go bust, money for real. No people dead for nothing. If black people have integrity, them stand up. I hold the boy and run them neck. See? What you see? Black people lame. Yeah, so uh, busy uh, uh, watching uh, white man and him company want job, right? I want the mortgage, I want this, I want that. And none of that don't mean nothing because you know, since the whole of white man society now work. Real now work. Social service now work. Housing now work. Financial institutions in America and England now work. But black people want to run go to them office and sit down, right? And um, get like a monthly paycheck things to say, yeah, I start it as well. Well, uh, uh, you know what you right? said earlier on about, you know, integrity and being lame? You, you know, we, we sometimes have to lay those accusations down at our doorstep and examine them very closely and recognize that are we being lame? Are we doing enough? Because the thing is, people are talking about a wall of silence and fear in the community. Is fear right, of who? Is that right, right? Because it's gone, the magnum and whatever the hoses. I've got a ton for enough family, right? So I'm going to see how much family I've got licked down. Right? Before them kids, you look an idiot out of the road, say, when you have a fire shot, you out. Make sure money, you are defend. And black people have no money, so you can't be fire shot at black people. All right. Good evening. Hello, it's Sheila. Sheila, where are you calling from, Sheila? West Brom. West Brom, it's okay, yeah. Sheila. Fire away, dear. Right, I agree totally with um, the person who was before Anthony. One thing I have to say about Anthony is this. Anthony laughs. He don't know his head from his foot. Let me tell you something. It's to do with white man, what are gone. People, did, that was just a New Year party. Said, I thought you said you agreed with Anthony. No, I don't agree with him. Oh, he's, he's a lost soul. He don't know his head from right, his foot. All right, all right. Sheila, 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 Sheila. Sheila, 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 hold on. Let me talk you so we can get our view across. No, this is a serious matter, what are gone. So let me talk. Get, get your view across. Yeah, well, respect. well, yeah. Okay, yeah, Sheila. Sheila, it, it's not about focusing on Anthony. It's about focusing on what's about happening. What he said. He made a comment, and I'm just going to answer him. Okay, go on. Comments, right? Now, number one, police force is, is done by a white man. It's white man create police force, right? And it's targeted for us. Because every time we go out, it has to be shooting. What shooting for what? When you go out there to enjoy yourself. We're not thinking about killing somebody. We're going out to enjoy ourselves. New Year's time come. These girls go out to enjoy themselves. Now, some idiot who get paid off by police come shoot them up for what? Why is blood spilling for what? And then them say black people. Anybody see black people shoot at that time? Did anybody see who it was? Well, somebody, did, somebody, 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 somebody performed this heinous action, Sheila. The guns, the guns did not go off by themselves. And let yes, us understand that. Well, you see, Sheila, the problem is here that a great a, a number of us are violent towards each other. So therefore, 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 there must be some some uh, some some breakdown in the, in the self love. Do I know? I know a lot of black people who are very disrespectful to other black people. In which way? In 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 in, a, in quite a number of ways. Not is necessarily. It, is it violence? Not uh, and it could it could actually lead to violence. I just Listen, you I have know, let, Sheila, Sheila, it, Sheila, it Sheila. Let me tell you something. You as, black yourself and you people. As PCRL, what you do is wrong. Sheila, what you do is wrong. You she, Sheila, I can't. Right, I can't talk over Sheila's. Uh, all right, Sheila thinks I'm a traitor, but let me tell you this: I have been on on the door, not necessarily as a as a doorman, because people who know me, I, I'm not a I'm not a strong guy, you know. I'm I, I'm I'm just your your humble old pilot. And I've seen the behaviour of some individuals who don't even want to pay five pounds to come into a show, uh, into a dance. Good evening. Okay, we we have another caller on the line. Right, I think somebody hasn't called before. Good evening. Hi, I'm Marjorie from Perrybar. Marjorie from Perrybar, okay, Marjorie. Yeah, I'm just saying that um, I agree with the caller that was before Anthony. You do? Yeah, because it's um, it's all a setup. It's obvious it's a setup because simply this, Tony Blair's in trouble and he's just um, targeted this area uh, and uh, spread Birmingham as some kind of terrorist area, or I shouldn't even say that word anyway, but an area that's an Argo area. Um, 
It's building up, like people are building up, and all, they, all he's doing is tearing us down. Well, don't you like think, that. don't you think, Marjorie, we are, we are putting our heads mm. in the mouth of the lion, we are walking towards mm. our own destruction mm. with our eyes wide open. Yeah, and but and that, is, is, that is the sad part of it. Section of us. It is that's only a section not, of us, and that is the problem. Yeah, you see, I, I don't is, like the idea that the, the minority yeah, is holding yeah. the majority to hostage. Yeah, the thing is, we're giving them the power. They haven't really got the power. They, they are parading as they got power. They haven't. And what the person said before is, um, yes, it's a community thing. If the whole community got together, these little kids... They're only children, half of them. children, some of them. They're children. You know, they're, 40, they're 14, 15 years of age. These, these, yeah. these are children. Yeah. They're, they're, not, they're not men with, no. uh, and women no, with, with, really fully, with fully formed no. minds and thoughts. And it's true and they haven't got anywhere to go. That's the truth. They've got nowhere to go. I mean, I went out recently to a, a club in Handworth, and I was absolutely dis... I couldn't believe it. Disgusted. I couldn't get out. There's a group of uh, kids, about 50 of them, trying to get in the club and the uh, bouncer didn't even know what to do with them and this is what's going on the black clubs are being targeted deliberately so that we haven't got nowhere to go well, that's and true. we're just in a sort of turmoil and this is the situation until we get this thing solved then the kids won't you know they won't even have if they've got somewhere to go on that they haven't got time for guns because they'll realise what a waste well, it see, is you see, you see people may laugh at, at the way some, some communities conduct their lives where mm where boys will go to boys' brigade yeah. and, and they will go to boys' scouts mm. and, and things like that. You know, I've heard uh, boys on the people, bus talk and they're not talking about like, people killing. People laugh like at that. that. People laugh at that. And you know, so, what, what, what am I... The what, parents even scared to send the kids out and that's, you know, what kind of things are... Uh, and what we have to what we have to understand here, uh, Sister Marjorie, is that the majority of our youth, mm. the majority of our youth, is very very positive. Yeah. And, and I, I will say that for yeah. balance of the issue again, Look, it is the minority. I'm telling the black community now, you've got everything going for you. Don't let this incident and incidents even occur in the future get you down. Exactly. Because to me, yes. It is a sad loss that these girls have been killed in this way. But I'm telling you now, the ones who have done it, can you imagine how they feel? People might think, oh yeah, they don't feel nothing, but I'm telling you, they're, they're just scared out of their minds. And the persons who sold them the gun, and the guns and the weapons, I tell you something, when God comes, they've got a lot to answer for. Well, to be quite frank with you, I, I ain't got time to wait for, for the Creator. I, I, I simply haven't got time to wait for the they Creator. In I haven't got time to you wait for the Creator. Well, in I'm this, telling this you, instance. whether you want to wait or not, the Creator is coming and these are just a little signs. I want these individuals apprehended yeah. and the due processes of the law yeah. to take its course. But the law isn't that there. Is what and I they, want. They see the kids who got these guns know where they're coming from. <laughs> and they know the law. Goodbye. Well, Okay, okay, Marjorie over there in Perry Bar, 07932-545-579. Very difficult for me to get to the text messages. We had a presenter, TNT, who was uh, on the streets of uh, Birmingham doing some interviews with various people. But uh, I, I'm not sure. I've been listening to the tape, but I'm uh, trying to find something that, that I, I can actually play. But I, I don't think I've found anything, to be honest with you. And... Uh, I'm sure that uh, you know he, he did say, but uh, let, let's see if uh, we can get anything across. Okay, right. As I said, I'm not sure what's happening there with that particular instance. As a responsible person, I don't think we can actually tell our community to go out and uh, shoot guns because innocent people will always get hurt, and uh, we must stop and look at where we're going and where we're coming from. Uh, I'm a black man. I've lived here in England, in this part of the country, for 35 years. Came here as a boy. I pay a mortgage. I own a few properties. I work and I earn a good living. I've got children. They're brought up properly. I know their perspective. I know they will be good, good people. If you have children, you've got to stay with your children. You've got to give them a standard to live by. I look at the, the other communities and I use them as an example. They take education seriously, family values seriously. And these are the things that I think to a great extent, not completely, but to a great extent is lacking in our black community. 
our children are brought up without hardly any parental control. In many, many cases, there's no father. Well, to be honest in with you, it, it is a problematic, and, and we need to start addressing that, that, that very issue. Because right. the thing is, people will say that you're picking on the single parent again. But if we looked... At statistically, at, at, the, at the female headed households, I think Sister Ancobia made that particular point um, last week or the, the week before last uh, when she, she was talking about the percentage of female headed households. And it, it's absolutely, uh, I, I don't think we can get a community. I am, I'm, not, I'm not really picking on single parents. Nor am uh, I. But uh, in, in some cases, uh, where there are single parents uh, with many children, these children cannot be brought up properly. And in this day and age, I don't think that women should really allow themselves to have more children than they can uh, cope with, because all they're doing is, um, you know, making problems for ourselves. Because my children is my, my friends and family's problems, as well as their children's are my problem. Okay. And we have got to live responsible. What, what I will say, ask you, David, is there will be a public meeting at the Town Hall, um, Victoria Square, this coming Friday. There is also another initiative uh, to be held at uh, Hollyhead Road School on next Sunday, starting at midday, where there will be various speakers there. Leo Mohammed will be there. Danny Williams, uh, uh, a, a, a high-ranked um, heavyweight boxer and uh, various individuals will be speaking. We want to see as many people at those events as we possibly can. Will you be attending any of those yes, events? Yes, I will be attending the council house for definite. Okay. Um, because I'm not a person who likes to speak in public, but I will be ta I'll be going and I will be taking my children there because so I So will think, I. Uh, uh, with what has happened recently, we need to um, take it very serious because this will only get worse. Well, um, I'm, a, I'm a man, I'm, I'm a middle-aged man, but I still like to go out. But these days, me and my friends and my family, we are very concerned where we can go because every time you go out, there is always a report of places getting shot, shot at, people getting killed. And you're wondering, when is it going to be my turn? And we, we know, because we, we live in the community, we see what's going on. Quite often you go out in our community, and we are afraid of our own people. That is a problem. Because of the, the attitudes and the, the, the violence and the vengeance that they have. You know, I can remember years ago, you go out and you see a black man, you, you feel comfortable, you, you're happy. Yeah, because you, yeah, you that love safe. and respect was there. These days you go out and you see a man of your own. You are, you are more scared of him than you would be of a white man. Well, I think... And it, you, you must ask yourself, what's going on? You have a point. Okay, I'm just going to... Sister Ancobia, you, 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 yeah. you'd like to sort of I think, add something. I, I think what the brother is, is saying is true. There's a lot of fear in our community. And um, it's a shame. It's a sad day, in fact, when you see black men frightened of other black men. It really is a sad day. But um, it's for us to try and put the fear aside and actually deal with the um, issues very seriously. Um, the brother made some very serious points, especially to start with. Um, no way should um, anybody go out and shoot anybody. No matter what the issue, whether you're going to earn money or not, you shouldn't be out there killing and shooting people full stop. Our people, not just younger people, our people have to have a different eth ethos. We have to know that money and materialism cannot be the center of our lives it cannot be the center of our existence as a community and it cannot take us anywhere into the, as far as the the long term is concerned we have to be concerned with real values real principles real nation building things that are really going to um, build us up and help us take control of our destiny as as a race and we've got to have a new ethos a new belief system a new way of looking at the world around us and what's happening and realize that we have a serious role to play in shaping things around us in our community Absolutely, in this yeah. country and internationally as well and to get back that 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 hope that vision and that, and that faith that things can change for the better and things are changing regardless of what we may think but things can change for the better and for us not to sit there with our heads in our laps and think my god things are just going to get worse let me just kind of 
back out of this whole thing. Let me just move away from this race and disassociate dis myself with, with my people. No, we have a role to play, as I said earlier, each and, every, in each and every single one of us. And we can make a change. And I think this situation has highlighted to people that, you know what, things need to change. And I, I, I really pray that things are going to change, that we're really going to begin to do something and each every single one of us take up um, responsibility to yeah. do something. But I must also say that yeah. um, we, we live here in, in England, yes? This is England. This is not anywhere else but England. Uh, we, we have to look at the community that we live in and we have to adopt certain principles that, it, that will allow us to prosper. Uh, yeah. and, and we cannot feel, let ourselves be cut off because when you, when you, for you to get respect, we have to gain respect. And to gain respect, I think you have to allow people to feel comfortable with you. And when I look at some of my race of people, even their parents are scared of them. Well, that's, you know, a, that's I, the, there in the problem lies in some right. cases. Uh, but where, uh, and, and that's the problem, I think. You know, uh, whatever, why that is, I don't know. But we need community leaders. We need organizations. We need some sort of uh, a system where... But they are out there. But are they performing? Because if they are performing, how but, is it that there's such a big percentage of our people at all lost? Because I look at is, my own relatives, my own friends and people that I don't know but of my own race and I, I can see they are totally cut off from from the, 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 the you know from, from the majority but the they, they are completely lost and when people are lost you will get desperate action which is what we can see happening right now okay sister and Kobe very, very quickly then I think that we really have to not just look to the organizations once again and see, you know, what are they doing? Because what the brother is effectively saying is that there's a gap that exists, there's a problem that exists, and it's because of these organizations not performing. It's because of us as a community. You know, I really have to keep stressing that point. It boils down to us as a community not taking collective a action. Okay, David. Yeah. Can I just make one more point? That you can. Uh, I've heard a few people come on the radio tonight and denounce white people as the, 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 you know, they are there to, to, to beat us all down into the ground. I think if we are decent people, and if we work hard, educate ourselves, work the way that the, 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 the Western society is built to work by, by working, you earn and you pay your way. We'll, I look at, as I said before, I look at other communities, take it the Asian, we can't deny that. These people are hard-working people, and they're, they're prospering. Okay, well, I, I, I'm not going to get into a, a, a debate here in particular about the Asians. I, I don't know, I mean, maybe we need to, okay, we, we, we keep making comparisons with well, other parts to, of the community, and sometimes to, we, we, need to to look, we need to look, we need to also look and examine ourselves. Instead of saying we're going to try and, uh, uh, you know, sort of be like these people, you but know. I think, I think you, should, you should be able to, de to determine what is good from what is bad. I think you should and try and adopt to. what you see that is good and is working. Again, these people might have an agenda. They have suffered almost like us. Well, they were, never. They were never. Like well we. never. I, I'm not even going to go into never. that argument okay. there. I take your point. In a million years, <laughs> right. never. Yeah, okay. so I, I've, made, I've made my point anyway. Okay, thank you very thank much. You. Da welcome. David, you. Um, I hope you're enjoying the program. I am, very much so. Thank you, David, okay. over there in Erdington. All right. I'm not even going to sort of go down that road no, with debate certainly, at all. But, um, I think one of the things we have to understand, and I'm not sure if, if people are quite um, getting it, that are very, it's, it's hard, you see, when you try to compare yourself to other people, and I don't think we should because our situation is different our situation is, is unique we can look and see some of the values that they uphold and what's good for them but I don't think we should necessarily try to compare ourselves fully with other races because of what because of what we've actually gone through as a race I think what we need to do is understand why we are in the condition that we're in whether we look at things on a historical level I think our community needs some serious spiritual healing first and foremost I think that's what's really missing we've never gone through any real kind of um, healing it's like we're just a bunch of disabled people trying to stand upright and 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 and, and well, well and uh, run. hopefully I'm going to try to get we're trying to get some of that next week, Sister and yeah, Kobe, a little bit of spiritual healing. We've got a caller on the line. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Who am good I speaking evening. to? 
Mrs. D from Hockley. Miss D from Hockley. Yeah. Yes, Mrs. D. Um, I really totally agree with this young lady that um, come on. Samantha. You know, yes. I mean, the youngsters and, you know, well, some of them shouldn't be out there, but they, they shouldn't have to go anywhere they wanted to go. And we are blaming white people, but we shouldn't. It's black people killing black people anyway. And that, that is that is a prop that is a, a yeah. problem that we need to address. So what we what we blaming the white white man for? Okay. It's not the, it's not the white man going out there shooting the black. It's the black shooting the black. And we should you know we should get together and you know said well it's both time we live good. Well, yeah, I, 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 I like your sentiment, utopian, yeah. utopian though it may be. I, I like your sentiment. Yeah. I, I just hope, Mrs. D, that you're going to be at this meeting. Uh, yeah, at the town hall, seven yes, o'clock. I'm on, on, on holiday. On, I'm on holiday now. On holiday. Friday evening. Yeah. You're going to hear more about it this week on this radio station. I did yeah. invite um, Mr. Gordon from yeah. uh, Birmingham Partnership uh, mm. for, for Change. He wasn't able to attend this evening. Hopefully, mm. I can get him next week. Yeah. Um, uh, but you know, we, we we can certainly address certain issues at the council house on Friday. And, and now, and now is the time when we um, we know really the real PCRL that you know, you you know we're, our, our our longest um, service radio station. Well, the only the only uh, the only regret I have is that uh, when this incident took place on Thursday, is yeah. that we didn't actually do a program such as this one on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I felt that we personally that we we should have, and and, and that is I, I must say that I am partly to blame in terms of why that didn't actually happen. We should have changed our schedule because yeah. something, some something had happened in our community, with which had great significance, a great bearing on our community feelings. We ought to have changed our programming on Thursday evening. But as I say, you know, you can't change history, but you have a, 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 a an opportunity to to um, change the future or deal with the future at least. We, we as a society of black people, we should we should be going out there killing with one another. Especially youngsters, I mean, those girls don't live any life yet. No. I mean, you know, that's really, really bad. You know? I, I, we, I really, shouldn't I, blame, we shouldn't be blaming white people. They have nothing to do with us killing one another. Well, the, the, yes. they may have perpetuated it in terms yes. of into our mindset. And, yes. and Sister Ancobia said something mm. um, a couple of weeks, a few weeks ago as well. If you show somebody yes. the back door enough times, they'll eventually yes. just go to it themselves. There's and it's, many, it's full many. time that we stop going through that mm. back door and That's start it. thinking about our actions. There's many ways to these killings more than blaming white people. We should we should look into our own black society and say that we are going wrong. And uh, I can bet Where are we going wrong? Sister yes? sister sister D, I can bet yes? you when we yes? hear the reason Yes. Of why these g these young beautiful sisters have lost their lives, right. we will be amazed. We My will be utterly God. disgusted yes. by the reasoning. It will be because somebody disrespected somebody else, and I can bet That's it. that you know. is part and parcel of some of the reason. Never mind you. You. you I, I mean, people say these killings have have drug related. Yeah. A lot of these killings are uh, okay. We know that, that drugs may be involved, but some of these killings are not drug. Related. Yeah, not they're, from, they're from some kind of, um, you know, low, li yes. low life type yes. of thinking. That's where yes. they're coming from. You disrespected me. You're seeing my baby mother, and I don't want you to see my baby mother. Yes. Well, kind of, that is why some people are dying. And most of them, you know, go, they're pretending they're bad, they're bad guys. If they're bad guys, they go, they'll go give themselves off if they're bad. Well, let's have a shootout with the police. Let's see, you yeah. know, let's see a police marksman, yeah. uh, you know, when a police marksman gets you, gets you in the crosshairs and drops you, no. <laughs> you, 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 you're not bad anymore. No, because they're not bad. You know, they pretend bad and hiding behind the guns Look, you and see, killing innocent people. Miss D, mm? um, you know, uh, I remember Dr. X, I don't know if you listened to Dr. X's tape. Mm. Dr. X said something. He said, people are afraid of the madness. Yeah. They are afraid. That is what they're afraid of. That is what we are afraid of as a community. We are afraid of the madness. We are afraid 
that when we approach these individuals, they're, they're, they're loud and their behavior is, 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 is of a violent nature from the outset. And that is what we are afraid of. Yes, We're afraid of the madness. Most black people don't respect themselves. They go out there and they do the, in the most disgraceful thing because they think, well, you know, I'm a bad man and I'm a bad girl. And, but that's not the point. I mean, they're showing up everybody that black in Britain. You yeah. know, we never used to have the, the sort of killing each other like this. Okay. Isn't it? Sister mm -hmm. Dia, thank you very much. I hope you okay. enjoy the program and I hope that I, uh, I hope some good points have come across tonight. Okay. Okay, I'm Mrs. Dia. I'm the community to pray for the, the family because I'm telling you that must be going well, to a I would hard love, time. I, I hope everyone oh out there is saying prayers for the, prayers the family for of those Even if the young sister girls. feels the prayer over, over the air. Innocent, yeah. oh, and, uh, and if somebody wants to phone in and say a prayer, uh, some description we don't mind to yeah. okay? okay? Thank you very much, Mrs. Thank Mrs. you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your good work. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right, many thanks to Mrs. D, the sister Ancobia. Lots of emotion within our community Most certainly. Uh, and, uh, at um, this moment in time. I think um, we have to <laughs> phone. Yeah, it, it's, it's difficult not to answer the phone. Good evening. Oh. Hello? Got ya. Hello? Hello? Right, is this somebody playing around? Hello? It's obviously somebody yeah, who's playing around with the phone. And, I and think I'm playing around in such a, uh, such a serious debate as well. Uh, uh, you know, I mean, absolutely ridiculous. Okay. I think most certainly um, as a community, um, at this time, we have to really get behind the, the family in, in prayer. Um, if we can, get some flowers and put at, at the site of um, those um, ch children. If we can, when the, school, when the children get back into school, speak to the head teachers and get them to do a one minute or two minute silence for the girls that have lost. Let them have discussions in, in the school around what's um, yeah, happened most and, and, and around what's going yeah. on, most certainly. Okay, I think we've got a call in the line. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, who am I speaking to? Uh, yeah, I, I don't think, uh, I can't hear you very well. We have to cut you off. There. We've got a very bad line. I think also as well, if you look at what the sister was saying, um, some, some, Samantha, she made some very serious pointers and um, I think we have to look at having more youth clubs within our community. Um, I think parents need to be getting more in, involved with the, um, the, um, with the, in, in, within the schools. Um, I think there's a lot more, well, we know anyway that there's a lot more that, be, that can be done. But in terms of listening to what the sister had to say, she made some serious pointers. And that basically, the youths are crying out for help. They really are crying out for help. And we have to be there of course for they them. Are. They're crying we're, out for help. They really are, are, for help. are lost. And we can't uh, afford to right. let this generation just slip from under We've us. We've got a caller. Good evening. Uh, good evening, Pilot. Who am I speaking to? Um, you're, you're speaking to a 63-year-old from West Bromwich. Yeah, what's your name, 63-year-old? Oh, that's it. I just called to... Oh, you're a 63-year-old. Hello. Hello? I, I just called to say respect to Brother Lincoln for, yeah. his, for his positive and constructive words. And with his permission, I would like to discuss some more positive issues regarding helping people of colour for some more positive and constructive outlook for the future at the meeting of the Council House on Friday. Okay. God willing. My discussion with Brother Lincoln will be to do with mentor training in primary and secondary schools. Also, respect to the young sister. And just Samantha. to add these words, all it takes for evil to succeed is for good people to do nothing. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very much, 63-year-old so from, from West Bromwich. That is so potent. Uh, 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 all it takes for evil to succeed is for good people, good people to do to nothing. Good people to do nothing. Uh, uh, and that is essentially what's um, That is essentially what's, what's happening here. Yeah. Good evening. Bit of wisdom there. All right, yeah, and I say we, we need to listen to the wisdom of our older community as well, to be quite honest with you, because uh, they have uh, a lot to say, and uh, sometimes we, we don't listen to them with enough. Okay, all right, okay, we have a caller on the line, all right, and uh, I'm going to line him up now. Good evening. Yeah, this is Isa from. Hansworth. Good evening, Isa. A great show, pilot. Thank Congratulations you on your show. Thank you very much, Isa. And to your guest as well. Yes, uh, she has been uh, a, a marvelous, a marvelous contributor tonight. Right. Um, I actually called not to comment a lot on your, on the issue at hand, because I believe that would be addressed 
at the conference next week Sunday. Yep. In uh, Hollyhead School. Is, is it the the speakers sort of um, doing a a, a a sort of a, a 15 minute talk? Uh, uh, or is it a sort of a question and answer thing where the gen uh, and it is for the general public? It is, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so it starts at midday, it's at the Hollyhead School, Hollyhead Road in Hansworth. That's correct. Yep. And uh, it's really a sort of a family conference. They are crash and everything for people to bring their children and all sorts of toys and whatnot. Yep. While the adults get on with the business. Uh, I know that they had one in Brixton Town Hall on the the uh, 15th of September 2002 and I uh, 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 was one of the people there as well and it's really organized by a bunch of youths believe it or not and they are uh, they call themselves 2k educating youth yeah <laughs> uh, it's quite a, a impressive bunch of youths as well. well that sounds great and dynamic when, yeah. when especially with the young people being the spearhead of, of this and this I, particular I, I, I uh, event. Heard, I also heard you play some of their tapes. They do the shadow space. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a bunch of youths as well. They are um, quite uh, articulated and uh, uh, smart. Well, I'm going to try. I'm going to try my best to get down there. I, I, I have to say, I will try and get down there because I know it's going to be a, a great event to actually attend. And and, it, and Sister Ancobia, you know, when I was talking to her about this this week, she actually phoned me to be quite honest with you, uh, and, and she was saying that the that, that the community needs to, to, to needs healing right now with with, with what has happened. Yeah. And uh, I, I think some of these events can be part of that healing process. Yeah, I, I think these, the, the ethos that these youth have is more preventative than curative. I, I, well, uh, yeah. So they're not waiting until an event happens That's right. to take off. They, they are at it at the moment. And as far as I know, this special would show that they, they planned to, for this whole year that they would be in all the inner cities and there are some of these uh, youth who live in Birmingham as well yep. so I think they need to uh, come uh, out more well, I I, uh, I hope that there is some kind of um, advert which is going to be put on the radio station if it's a free event. Yes. I hope that somebody has the the, the you know the, the uh, for foresight to make a, a, some kind of tape so that we can play it continuously to remind people that this is happening. Just as I hope that people, the people who are organising the meeting at the town hall, will send a, a, an advertisement in so that the general public who don't listen to this program know about the events. Yeah, that's a very good idea. I shall pass that word on. Okay, Isa. Okay. Thank you very much. Right, Thank many you. thanks to um, Issa out there in the community. Right, seven minutes to go here on this program. Time has absolutely flown. Uh, it has overtaken us. Haven't even had time to go to all the text messages because the phone is just totally just ringing its head off. So if you've texted me and I haven't read it, it's not my fault, okay? Good evening. Okay, right. We still have individuals, when we are discussing a serious issue, who still have the mindset of um, imbeciles. But anyway, we move on. 07-932-545-579. Did expect a call from Brother Beanie Brown. Uh, we haven't received it yet. Uh, Brother Beanie Brown, a long-standing member of our community. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Is that Brother Aki? Yes, this is not Beanie Brown. Okay, Brother Aki. All right. Yes. What I'm saying, right, I mean, when these guys go around and murder these, these children, I mean, in our community, there is a lot of people that are doing positive things. But sometimes, when these guys go in and do these things, they get like, all these, these um, attention. And then people even think that um, a lot of us is doing evil. But there's a lot of black parents, um, I know, right now, um, teaching their children right from wrong. I agree with you, Aki. I really do agree with you. But, but can we just ignore uh, a, a, an incident of this nature? No, I agree. I agree. No, um, my condolence goes out to the family who, who, who lost their two daughters and the one who was wounded as well. But sometimes from, from negativity can come positivity. 
Well, this is what uh, a sister said earlier on, that she, she hopes that these young ladies have not died in vain. Yeah, because I mean, that, all right, I know that some people out there is hungry and they want to go out there and find these guys and, I mean, murder them or wipe them out. You know what I'm saying? But as uh, somebody else ringing and says, uh, that I mean, the best way to counteract these guys is for the mothers and the fathers them not to learn from this mistake and then take up them children in hand and then teach them to have moral and discipline and, and not to get um, caught up in self-hate. So when a gang come to them and look glamorous, they, they go and whatever, sell cocaine or take up his gun culture. Yeah, that, that is, a, that is you, you do have a point, and we need to address if there is a, a, a drug culture out there amongst our youth. Uh, <laughs> and among, we need to address that. And plus, right, I think, right, the community don't really want to go out there and put their neck on the line because them know, say, our own business, the police, I mean, town and old police station, all these police, them, them know all these gunmen is. We need not for people, it's not people, people don't even want to put their neck on the block because them know, say, if you even get these guys on them into the police, they will free them back because you can't sell cocaine in you know, the England the police don't be behind you. You can't fire gun on police, don't the police know who and who have gone. They, 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 the they have, them, yeah, they they have, they they have, they have certain um, covert intelligence which we know is there. They know these these particular crews, I mean, whatever they call themselves, Champagne crews and, and Bader Bar crews and Pilot. Burger Bar and Johnson and everything. They know these individuals. Pilot. If me take up a gun right now, I mean me kill 17 white women and 15 white men and 5 Indian. I won't do it, but I'm just saying, for example, if I kill 15 white women and every black somebody is to give up my name, and the policeman they know say me, trust me, they will find some way of arresting me. You would be with, a, you, the community you, help. I, 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 I feel that. that. I feel, yes, that, that would probably Same happen. Like that. that would probably happen. Yeah, because the, 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 the woman get away scot free. And most of these guys are in farmers, and they are not really bad. As I'm saying, I'm not a bad man, because bad men are running from police. If you're a bad man, you defend your community. That's you, true. You, you don't shoot up innocent black people. If you say you're a bad shatter, or you're a gangster, you don't run from police. You don't go hide when they kill people. That's right. Um, Brother Aki, I've got to leave it there because the program is finishing now. Okay. Okay. Happy uh, New Year to our listeners. Happy New Year, yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Fire. Right, thank you. Two and a half of minutes of the program left. Sister Ancobia, I think we have to try to, to just uh, sum it up. Uh, I don't know if we can actually take this caller. Uh, you've, got a, you've got about uh, 30 seconds. Good evening, Pilot. It's a very interesting program. Thank you. Who am I speaking to? Maxine from Winston Green. Okay, Maxine, quickly. I know I have to be quick. My condolences go out to that family. I mean, I can't, I can't begin to understand what they're going through. But also, my comment is, people on a whole have to realize that life is a precious gift from God. And you see, you, you made a lot of, well, different people make a lot of different comments, but the parenting, I think that's very important. I mean, I can't go into that in detail. Uh, but good evening. Good evening, Tyler. Who am I speaking to? Good evening, Sister Anobia. Who am I speaking to? Cynthia, great bar. Cynthia, all right, you're talking to the traitor. Right, Jamaica has got one of the worst crime in the world at the moment. Is the police, the white policemen instigating the crimes over there also? Well, I don't know. The, the, the policemen are, are, are sometimes I just as hard as the criminals at particular... Where, where are you calling from, by the way, Cynthia? I'm calling from Great Bar. Okay, Cynthia, get fired. But I, yeah. I think it's, um, it's sad that people are saying that white men are instigating these crimes. It's the thugs at San Jose Street that shot those young people down. Well, and I, and I, I can't see how people can be saying that. When you look at the crime rate in Jamaica... How, how vast that is. Is the white men over there instigating the crime rate? All the shooting and killings? Well, to, to be honest with you, as I said, with Jamaica, there are different dynamics at play there. You, you know, you, you've got no, the... No, it's, the, it's just, just the, for instance. Yeah, I, just I, I, I hear what you're saying. I'm saying. You know, I, I hear what they, you're saying. They're saying but, but that Cynthia, the policemen are instigating these things. See, I mean, okay, we are aware that, we, that, the, that the police have paid informants. Who, who, where some of them have a carte blanche to do anything within the, the community. We are aware of that. But I don't think this is the issue at hand this evening where this particular incident is concerned. And if I 
If, if it turns out to be that way, I will be very, very surprised. These, this, this incident, when we find out the, the real, uh, should I say, cause of it, everybody will stand up in, in, in amazement and say, is that all these two young ladies died over? Because exactly. somebody dissed somebody else? Exactly. exactly. That's, what we, that's what we are going to find. Uh, and whoever you know. is shielding these folks, they should be ashamed of themselves. They need to be caught and they need to be dealt with. And they need to be taken off our streets. Okay. I'm going to just move over to Sister Ancobia here to, to just uh, add a point here. I think um, the sister's right. As a community, we have to acknowledge that there are elements in our community which are not for our good. We really have to acknowledge that and we can't really pass the buck on to somebody else. The brothers as stated clearly, we do have paid informants in the community who can get away with literal murder. We know that, but we have to accept that as a people th there are evil elements within our race. There are good and there is bad. And that there are some of our people, they're not all young, some of them are big men as well. Some of them have children that are in this thing. It's a serious thing. I'm sure you couldn't go to some of them and, and tell them that they're the puppets of, 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 of the um, white man. So I think we have to be honest with ourselves and look and accept the fact that we are out there committing these crimes. If we accept that as a people we've been um, destroyed, that um, we've lost so much, then we have to accept that this is one of the, this is um, that, sorry. Yep. We have to accept that if we are um, a people destroyed, then there are people within our race who are going to be self-destructive. Uh, most definitely. Cynthia? Yes. Is your radio loud there? Uh, no, no. Okay, no, right. No. Yeah, okay, Cynthia. Yeah, you, you carry on. Yes, uh, th these children could, could be my children. Yeah. I'm, I'm really... I'm outraged at this. Well, uh, uh, so, uh, so uh, we are all outraged by what has happened. I, I am absolutely disgusted yes, of the, the, the heinous uh, uh, action and that, that was taken on this. whoever knows the culprit of this crime to hand them over to the police. Don't condone it. Don't let this go on. Not because it's not your family member. It, it, tomorrow it could be you. Okay. Okay. Right. Many thanks to um, Cynthia there. And right. Don't forget the... I'm just going to announce an event that's uh, taking place um, this coming Sunday. It's a black youth conference at Hollyhead School. It's free. It starts at midday, all right? Uh, many prominent speakers will be there, all right? So please go there. I believe Danny Williams, who's a, 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 a top-ranked heavyweight boxer, who will be there speaking. Brother Leo Mohammed, good evening. Will also be there as well. So, uh, you know, it's all, it's all, it's all going to be something that's... Good evening. Um, good evening. I just who am I speaking to? Marcia from Hansworth Wood. Marcia from Hansworth Wood. Okay, Marcia. Yes, I'd just like to send my condolences uh, to the victims um, in regards to the tragedy. Well, the, well, the and families, anyway. And also, um, we need to kind of start taking responsibility for our own actions. You know, it's, yeah, yeah. we've gone on too long with blaming the white man. Um, you know, and we need to start looking at ourselves, looking at our parenting skills, how we're bringing up our children, and kind of, you know, start from the basics, really. Yeah. Start to love each other, start to have respect for each other, and then we can move on. Marcia, Marcia there's a meeting which is taking place at the Council House this coming Friday, 7 p.m. Are you going to be there as a concerned citizen? Yes, I will, because I'm looking at my children, and if things continue as they have been, there's no future for them. Well, so, well, you know, I have to look forward. I have to go to that meeting and start taking responsibility as a parent as a, and as a member of the black community. Yeah, yeah, most definitely. Yeah, and, is your radio uh, loud, Vera? No, Okay, I've right. it off completely. No, okay, is that yeah. better? Yeah, that's better, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Um... I'm glad I passed by today and put some flowers um, near the site. Yep. And personally, I don't want to see another black mother in the state that I saw um, the parents and families of, of those girls. And I saw pictures on television the other day. Um, I think this is an excellent debate, and I've been really pleased to see that something like this is happening. I know it's wandered all over the place, but at least it really does show that we are concerned. We're not just letting other people debate our problems. That's true. I personally um, think that all the points are valid, 
but I think the most valid points really are the ones that say that we ought to stand by what we are actually saying and put what we say into action. Um, at the end of the day, I'd like to see some symbol that, sh that we ourselves have actually put in place to show that we won't forget what has happened to these girls and we don't want to see it happen again. Yeah. And I would agree with you that people ought now to stand by their words, what you just said about attending meetings, but perhaps do more. We're talking about all the things that we want to see happen for our children. Maybe we should, some of us were not actually doing anything. Maybe we ought to look to see if there's anything more that we can do. And I'm sure there is a lot more that we, we can of course do. There's got to, of course there is a lot more that we can do, Vera. We cannot continue to pay lip service to uh, a, a, a decaying community or a community which seems to be uh, decaying. We have to take action to um, put the necessary uh, um, framework in place for us to improve our community. I mean, what, what happened to what happened to to both Charlene and and and, and, and Letitia, two beautiful sisters, and, and and we can see that the photograph that has been used in the newspapers, which which they took just prior to be to, to going out to this party, I where where they didn't know they would meet their their deaths, and and I they do they they look abs they, they look absolutely beautiful. Well, that's the thing. I can't even imagine what the families that are going through. And I think perhaps we all, we're a people with great feeling, with great emotion. We have a lot to say. And we've shown over the years that we can put things into action. Birmingham's a great city, and it's become great through a lot of the work that we've done. You know, people up in the same areas that are affected now have done a lot of work. There has, there's a long way to go, yes. True. But I think perhaps as well, if people actually realize how far the community has actually um, progressed, the work that we ourselves, a lot of the community leaders and other people have actually put in day on day, night on night, so that now we can talk about having all kinds of people, black people in all strata of society now. If we actually focused on things like that and saw that we do have a, well, we've nurtured ourselves to have a positive core, yeah. Okay. I'm just I'm just going to bring in Sister Ancovia and some of the points to, that that you've um, spoken of. Sister Ancovia. Yeah. Most certainly. Um, there is a, the, the sister is is correct indeed. There is a um, a lot more positive going on. Essentially, is what she's saying in, in our community than there is negative. Is for us to tap into the parts po positive, highlight it, acknowledge it, and begin to do more. You know, be just more. Build on you know, what's there. We um, need to know our history. There's a there's build on what's there. Our recent history. You know, and, um, well, hold on, Sister Vera, just just a second. Also, it's for us to recognise that each and every one of us has a role to play in this community for the betterment of our race. We can't leave it to community leaders or community spokespersons to do everything because then when something goes wrong, we point the finger and we say they ain't do nothing. Why should we bother? Why should we bother or even care? So all of us have to take responsibility for what's going on around us. And um, you know, we'd welcome any solutions tonight that people can put forward just to, to kind of show the community things that we can do, things that are actually possible to kind of give us hope. Because I think over the last few days, our hope has kind of been knocked, knocked and our faith has been knocked about a hell of a lot, you know. But um, let people call forward and give folks some actual one solutions, more, you know. Yeah. One more thing I just want to Sister say. Vera, yeah. I've been thinking about this. And I think that people and the perpetrators of this crime really need to know that uh, in years to come, the people who will be remembered are the people who died. Yeah, most certainly. Not the, you know, the, the, the people who per perpetrated these acts are not going to be heroes. Well, I they hope that they're not they're made out to be. Exactly. They may be heroes to, to, in, in terms of the gangs that they, they, are, they are in. But uh, and they're, they're insignificant, and I think exactly. they need to recognise that. You know, the world is a very big place, and if they think that they've actually done some sort of heroic act, it's not because they can't. They can't talk about it. So, sister, you know, if what people message are going you... to remember these these young girls, and all what I put on the card that I left for their families is that I really hope that uh, their, their death will not have been in vain. Yeah. I don't want to take up any more of your time, oh. but uh, it's an excellent program, and as a lot of people say, it's the first time I've done this. And uh, thank you, you know, Vera, and and, and do it all again as well. All right.
Okay. Thank you very okay. much. Thank you. Many Take thanks care. to Vera Bye. over there in Erlington. It's uh, four minutes to the hour of 10 o'clock. We're going to take the news at 10. It's 07932-545579. Good evening. Right, we uh, missed that call, so I'll read the number again. 07932-545579. Five seven nine. If you would like to make a comment here on PCR Radio 103.5 FM, okay, right. Let's find out if we got a call on the line. Good evening. Hello. All right. Okay. Um, let's move to some uh, text messages. See if we can get some text messages uh, in the. All right. Uh, I, have, I haven't had an opportunity to get a text message either because uh, so many people are wanting to call here. It's difficult for me to read out the text message. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Who am I speaking to? Hello. This is Phil in Highgate. Phil in Highgate. Okay, yes. Phil. Yeah. You know, there, there's absolutely nothing I feel that anyone could tell me that would make me feel that there's any justification for these young women, loss of life and the injury that has been caused, you know? I, I totally condone the action. Condemn it, you mean? I condemn it. I'm yep. so sorry. I condemn it. Part of me, you know, I'm still, you know, when I hear it, man, I break down in tears, man. A lot of people did break down in tears. Certainly, man. And mm -hmm. to tell you the truth, right now, to the family, yeah, of the victim, you know, I want to send my condolences and ask the you know, I can't imagine really what I'm going through. And really to the family, the yeah. members of the perpetrator. I want to say, you know, check yourself, but do the right thing. You know? In fact, man, I'm, I'm filled up so much emotion, man. I can't even continue to talk. Oh, okay, Phil, I, 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 I can tell. something about it, man. Yep. Yeah. All right. And, and shut up and talk this talk about white man, this and white man. And well. And I told him to carry out the killing. Yeah, I, I don't think Tony Blair pulled the trigger. Uh, I'm sure he no, was. Man, we yeah. need to find this. Thing. This is wrong, man. We need to get the grips of what's happening in the community and start on man. Okay. No. Okay. Phil. I, 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 Phil, I think some people uh, fail to recognize or do not want to recognize that there are bad elements within our community that need rooting out. I think we still want to harp on about the, the white man did, 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 uh, has done this to us. He has done a lot to us. He's done, uh, 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 you know, a substantial amount to us. But at the same time, we still need to take responsibility for our actions. And uh, this is what I, uh, uh, you know, I'm saying. Nihilism creates a propensity. Um, I'm going to take this call, but you only have one minute. Good evening. Good evening, Brother Pilot. This is Brother Lincoln. Yeah, Brother Lincoln, you only have a minute, uh, or you yeah, can phone uh, me back after the news. Yeah, sure thing. It's just, uh, I think the first thing I'd like to do is to uh, pass my condolences, condolences to the family. And um, I'll certainly be there on Friday at 7 p.m. at the council house. Okay. And um, hopefully I will come along with some form of strategy, right, for the future, for future time. Because I believe that's the direction we need to go. Don't harp around about the negatives, but let's move within a positive direction out of this negative situation. Well, I, I, I certainly agree with that. Okay, um, Brother Lincoln, thank you very much for your call. I wish you good night. Right, many thanks to Brother Lincoln there for his call. Okay, right, all right. I'm going to give you a little uh, credence here, Brother Anthony. Yeah. What's this what, what's debate about? Beg your is pardon? It about, is it about the white man? Or is it about two young women who got shot and two in hospital, i.e. ones has come out? Well, I, I, I think the sister was very emotive in, in what no, she no, had no, to. No, 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 I'm saying so much. It, it's like the, the debate just mushroomed out rather than being on cue and on point to the issue yep. of the two ladies or two girls, two yeah, potential ladies. Well, I, I ladies. did actually bring it back to that particular standpoint, Brother Anthony, if you, if you noticed. Yeah, uh, I, I, I you think know, what do we, what do, my mind. What do we do in terms of the two young ladies who have Listen, lost their lives? I know it, we, can't, we can't change the past, but exactly, we certainly have a bearing on the future. Listen, listen. 
we all, um, the, the majority of people um, know the situation as regard to the elements that be and certain Caucasian people as regard to how they think about people of colour, i.e. black people, right? But the fact remains, so watch, uh, listen, £35,000 was initially put up by a local paper, yep. which that local paper, I mean, don't, don't, don't particularly like black people, but yet they still put £35,000 up. Now the auntie's got to £85,000. That's right, £85,000 for information leading to the uh, conviction. Uh, of these um, uh, uh, murderers. Yeah, and as I said, I, they're, they're not lovers of black people, but the fact so much that they've done that, they should be congratulated for doing that. Which black uh, businessman or black leader or whatever, they put even a hundred pound or fifty pound of reward money towards finding the criminals who've done this. But yeah. all you keep on is this white man, this white man, that white man, this white man, that. The issue is about, I mean, I'm not saying it's not important that them points aren't relevant, because them points aren't very I think, relevant. I think those points are, are going to be made in, in a debate of, of this nature, um, Brother Anthony, but we have but to, we have to keep, we have to keep the, the, that, that particular part of the debate pretty short and, and, and focus on, yeah, on what, exactly. we're, what we are it's about this evening. Is that two people have been murdered. Yep. People out there know who've murdered the two people, um, and the onus is on them people um, who know who murdered them two people um, to get in contact with the powers that be to rectify this situation. As I said to you before, it's pointless you talking about what and what people can do against them people. You've got, you've got, you pay for a service, i.e. the police service, while you cancel tax to deal with situations like that. And if they're not dealing with situations like that, then it's there. Okay, Brother Anthony, yeah, it's just a text message coming in whilst you're speaking. Yeah. And if, if, they're not dealing with, if they're not dealing with situations, then questions need to be asked. Questions need to be asked as to why they allow this situation to get out of control. Okay. Questions Brother Anthony... No, uh, let me finish. Yeah, let me go finish. on. Yeah, I'm going to let me finish quickly. Listen, questions need to be asked as to why people feel uncomfortable in going forward to them. Listen, if people feel uncomfortable in giving, giving evidence. They should treat the situation like having to treat a terrorist, terrorist threat. Whereby when people are giving evidence in court, when certain procedures or certain things that they implement in order to secure that person's identity. These are the things that should be pressed. These are the things that should be debated. If people are frightened to go towards them and give them information, yeah. put them on personal security. Okay, I'm brother. Be about white man this and white man that. Okay, brother I mean, Anthony. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I'm point. gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. Okay. I thank uh, brother Anthony there for his call, sister Ancobia. Again, you see, when you have a, a debate of this nature, it, it can go on to so much different um, paths. It, it certainly can. And we've One got of the things yeah, that I said at the very start of the show. The focus of the show has to be on the family who have lost um, their, um, who have lost two daughters, and also it has to be about us understanding why this situation has occurred in the first place. Um, there may be those of us in the community who feel that the police uh, have no use to us, so therefore we shouldn't involve them. But the reality is that we're not structured in any way in the community to fully deal with this problem by ourselves. Therefore, the families cannot just go to us as a community. Where would they even start? So they have to deal with the enforcement With the law enforcement agencies, agencies of, of the day. And I ask oh, anyone who has any information, please come forward. Don't let fear hold you back. Come forward. Because otherwise, it's like you went and, and killed those young girls by sitting, sitting yep, back and that not is coming true. forward. Right. So come forward. We, and we, don't we, have a, we have come a caller on the line. Good evening. Hello. Right, I, I thought we had a caller now. Okay, good evening. Hello? Hello? All right, uh, we've lost that call. And even with regards to the £85,000 um, reward, reward money, you know, and yes, the brother is right, we should congratulate those who put up the re reward money um, to try and, and get people to come forward. But I, I really do think that if any money is collected, it should be donated to the family, the families, should I say, with regards to this um, tragic um, situation. Okay, right, we have a caller on the line, right, uh, okay, right, right, I'll give you this very quick opportunity, Sister Elaine, yes, I don't, I don't, want, to, I don't want everybody else to have some bites of the chair. Yeah, but I'm very concerned about Brother Anthony. Oh, come on, Sister, please. No, can I just finish, please? I'm very concerned with that word that he's banding about the place about terrorists, okay? The UN at this moment cannot even define what a terrorist is, okay? Now, we have to be careful. Right, about the terms that we use to define our situation because these said things, knowing this Caucasian white man, right, you next thing you know, we will be start with all the other stereotypes, right, we will be start to be labeled terrorists in our own community. And certain things, as things stand already, we don't know, 
right? It's for a few people like him start banding that word around. You don't know what we're going to be calling down on the black community. Okay, Sister okay? Elaine. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Right. Many thanks to Sister Elaine there for her, her comments there on that I think that particular. the word terrorism can be broken down simply to terrorize. That is to terrorize people. When you terrorize people in your community, uh, maybe you can consider the... Uh, well, yeah. Uh, okay.